The byline breakdown, what does it mean? Hello language enthusiasts! Today, we're diving into a term you might come across in newspapers, magazines, or online articles, the byline. If you've ever wondered what it means and why it's used, you're in the right place. A byline is a line in a newspaper or magazine article that names the writer of the article. It's typically found at the beginning of a piece, right under the headline or title. The primary purpose of a byline is to give credit to the writer for their work. For example, by Jane Doe, the city experienced its heaviest rainfall in decades in this example, by Jane Doe, is the byline, indicating that Jane Doe is the author of the article. Recognition and accountability. A byline gives writers recognition for their work. It also provides a level of accountability. If readers have questions or comments about the content, they know who wrote it. Trust and credibility. For reputable publications, having a known writer's name attached can lend credibility to an article. Readers might be more inclined to trust the content if they're familiar with the writer. Consistency for readers. Regular readers might find they enjoy articles written by certain authors. By checking the byline, they can quickly identify pieces by their favorite writers. Sometimes, you might come across variations of bylines. 1. Joint bylines. When two or more writers collaborate on an article, multiple names might appear. By Jane Doe and John Smith. 2. No byline. On occasion, an article might not have a byline. This can be the case if the article was a collaborative effort by the editorial team or if the author chose to remain anonymous. 3. Photo credits. Similar to written content, photographs may also have credits. Though not called a byline, the principle is similar, giving credit to the creator. Photo by John Smith. And there you have it. The next time you pick up a newspaper or read an article online, you'll know what the byline is and the significance behind it. We hope this video shed some light on the term for you. Keep learning and exploring the English language. Until next time.